people have guessed that Raby mm-hmm. is a secret lesbian for <laughs> her picking decades. My entire career. Yeah. As long as I've known her, yep. people have believed that she's a. Uh, well, at the, at the very least, bi. Right. Which is probably mm-hmm. the which case. Which I haven't yeah. even denied. Yeah, I, right. think, I think bi would definitely be the, uh, the case. Yeah. Otherwise, pretty much asexual, though. Yeah. You know, she seems to have Who no needs it. No real, <laughs> no real interest whatsoever. Who right. needs it? But the bi thing kind of rules, right? That's all. Awesome. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's good. Uh, there's Duh. no denying that. That's good. Because then, <laughs> then it keeps the hope alive that yeah. you're going to have yeah. like slumber party. One day I'll bring my girlfriend in here. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is my girlfriend, Rhonda. <laughs> yeah. Now, maybe behind the scenes, because Ravy's also, we would call her the Chamber of Secrets. Yes, true. That is true. Um, you know, maybe behind the scenes, like when we're not around her, she's got a whole secret life mm-hmm. outside of us. Like we don't know. That, Again, that I never. Open uh-huh. the door to. Ravi and I have made it to 30 years of friendship, mm-hmm. and I've never once, ever in that 30 years, ever met a current boyfriend. That's true. Damn. Ever. That's right. 30 That's years. True. 30 that years. That's true. Mm. Ever have met a, a current boyfriend. We didn't always live She's in the had... same city. Still, but like you you never talk about them. That's true, too. You never bring it up. That's and... what I mean. It's like you hear about it afterwards. <laughs> well, I was dating this guy. What? What are you talking about? I'm very Who's this compartmentalized person? about yeah. stuff. And exactly. Then if, so she may have this uh, whole other life outside of here where, you know, she's whoring it up. Yeah. We don't know. And then if we Dies, think that's likely, whatevs. if we think something happened, like the limo driver, right. she won't admit it. Oh, yeah. there was a Even guy. Even though it was obvious. Yeah. He's a listener. Limo Chris. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. No longer with real. us. Yeah. yeah, who's no longer with us. But, um, yeah, he used to call up the show all the time. He'd come to our events. Mm-hmm. Loved would, Ravy. He would like, oh, man, he was obsessed with Ravy. And they hooked up. Yeah. No, it, we, we yes, did not. Yes, you did. In the back of the limo. We were just friends. Oh, no, you guys hooked up. Greg. Yeah. Were, oh, they did. They hooked up. <laughs> for they sure. did. And you know okay. by her reaction. Yes. It's so just yeah. yes. friends. Yeah. <sighs> okay. But he's no longer with us. What do you care? Just let He'd us be know. happy if yeah. you yeah. Oh, if, if, I if you admitted it. started to reveal our, yes. yeah. our sexual relationship. Yeah. She's saving it for the book, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she, she dated the guy who was the mascot for the Pittsburgh Pirates. That is yeah. true. Oh, He's my true love. Yeah, he and I worked together at one point. Oh, so you have met somebody. Yeah, but I didn't know they had ever dated uh, Tim. Oh, current. Tim. You mean. Yeah. Wow, you're such a fame whore. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what it was. That's Limos, was, yeah. mascots. Limos and mascots. <laughs> yeah. Life of I, glamour. I have yeah. a type. Wow. Oh, yeah. she was with that guy who was in a, a local band. Yep. Uh, Beakers oh, and yeah. Speakers. We, we wow. nicknamed him Beakers and Speakers because he was in a local band. Dude, But groupie? during the day, he was a scientist. And so, groupie, yeah. Yeah, scientist by day, <laughs> local Rocker. band by night. Yeah. Rocker, Rocker by, by, night. by night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the meth guy. Well, yeah. that, was, that See, was, that's what you call mm-hmm. bottoming out. <laughs> and true, isn't, that, that's how women, you know, talk about guys to their other girlfriends. They never use the name. It's always like. Some mm, nicknames. Yeah. Limo yeah. guy. <laughs> right. Uh, mascot guy. Mm-hmm. Well, those are the guys yeah. you're not serious about. Those are the nickname guys. Right. Limo guy mm-hmm. wasn't serious about. Like it mm-hmm. seems like when women talk about you know things or whatever, they go, "Oh yeah, you remember limo guy? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah, like <laughs> because don't... you have to play some, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh yeah, limo guy. Remember yeah, limo guy. Though, but, yeah. we were just friends. But I don't think uh, I can't like I'm, I'm thinking about like talking to guy friends or whatever. Like you don't even really know a name until they're dating. I kind of forget like, names. Well, I yeah. very much forget names. But you have an ex, Woody, that I think of as stairwell girl. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't even, I can never remember her name. Nicole. Mm. Nicole, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, stairway uh, girl. Woody's ex girlfriends are slut, bitch, <laughs> liar. liar. <laughs> oh, wow. To Ravy. Those wow. are not the names that I assigned them. <laughs> Allegedly. I mean, Ravy's not wrong. And Stairway Chick. <laughs> uh-huh. Stairway Chick was the bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. was she the bitch? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I hated her. Oh. <laughs> who was the slut? Yeah, who was slut? <laughs> Who's slut? <laughs> slut was that one girl. From Chicago, who was like, you know, um, a whore. <laughs> Remember, she left. Uh, what? what? Remember, like, you can't really say it on uh, the yes, air. Yes, you can. About how you know she was uh, moist. It was very. There was a lot of moisture oh. when you would hook up. She oh. was a squirter. Okay, <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Yeah, you could say uh, that. Okay. I can't uh. get into the description, but I mean, you, if you know, you know. <laughs> Right, slut. <laughs> How's oh. that a slut? Yeah, that's a natural. That was thing. just my name for. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. So yeah, that, catty. Which, by the way, that was so weird. 
<laughs> that Super was a, weird. That was a first time experience. I'm like, yeah. oh my god! I'm like, wow! Like, who the who hell just this? happened? You're like a legit <laughs> slut. <Yeah. laughs> You're so says, slutty. Says yeah. Ravy. And then Liar was the. Oh. Uh, oh god. That's the one that made up the story about how her the sister stories. died. And, mm. she had, She made up a story about having cancer. Yeah. Right. Mm. All kinds of stuff. She's she legitimately does. mentally. Yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Well, uh, and now she's a kindergarten teacher. Oh, good. Isn't that oh, crazy? Good luck, nick- kids. <laughs> what nickname yeah. did you give Woody's wife that we don't know about? Yeah, really. I always liked her. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, well, she, because she, I now that we're on her, the air. You know, for a long time. <laughs> yeah, because uh, my wife and I were friends <laughs> way before and we she, ever were together. I, and she would, I thought of her as like Tony's friend, our friend Tony. Yeah, because they like, grew up she together. She was his friend. Which is how I yeah. met her through our friend Tony, mm-hmm. who used to be on the show. And, um, did yeah, they and, used and, to take naked baths together? I don't know. Maybe it's like little as kids, kids or whatever. As, as little toddlers. More I than mean, likely. Maybe. Um, that's kind of weird. That's where, that's, where, that's where your mind goes, but okay. No, I think you shared that on the air before. <laughs> yeah, no. That's how far they go back. No, and, they go back because they're, they're yeah, parents. They grew up together. Yeah, we're it's yeah, interesting that Menace said naked baths. As opposed yeah, as to your clothes your baths. Clothed <laughs> baths. Yeah. Didn't they take naked baths together? They have together? a long history of nudity together. Yeah. <laughs> also, also remember uh, Ravy made out with dumbass Tyler. That's oh, yeah. right. true. That is our old, right. um, Hell yeah. for sure a lie. That our is, old that's out. not a lie. Everybody it's saw it. Ravy, you were blacked it. out. That's you don't not re- a lie. We can call him up right now. In You're fact, right. we have texters who are already hitting us up about that. There's yeah. no... Oh, yeah. Photographic Let's proof. Let's not of forget it. about mm-hmm. Rave's good time with dumbass Tyler. We there. all there watched Rave. Okay, mm-hmm. but yeah. nobody snapped a pic. Well, oh, Picker, there's, it didn't happen. There's cameras in that club. I think Ravy has like one of those A B switches. You know, like those yeah. old school video game switches that you had <laughs> in the back of the TV. It's either TV or video or game. game. Yeah. It's either asexual or whore. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> those are my those are my two modes. Yeah. yeah. Asexual or whore. Yeah. Like it's it's all or nothing. I right. see. Uh-huh. And maybe it's one of the things that we're uh, you know that we bond on because I'm an all or nothing person. <laughs> That's just you and your life. I see. Mm. <laughs> I'm Prude there with a lot or of things whore. About yeah, right. <laughs> Asexual, <laughs> never give it a thought. <laughs> yeah. or, like, or, or, or ravenous. Wow. Ravenous. Just ravenous. Yeah. <laughs> Just Ins- ravenous for Tyler. Yeah, yeah. insatiable, if you mm-hmm. will. Believe it or not, he's still single. I'll hook you up. Yeah, <laughs> oh. well, please do. Uh, there's a clip from this guy. His name is Jay Shetty. He is a motivational speaker. Who lives in a van down by the river. <laughs> yeah. No, but he's got a, a podcast. Mm-hmm. And I saw this clip. He thinks that most couples are in trouble, and it's TV's fault. I got a clip. Oh. Let's see if you agree or disagree, since we're talking about relationship stuff. Most of us only do one thing with our partners, and it's watching TV. And that is the lowest form of intimacy that you could possibly ask for with any human being. If you and I watch TV together for 200 hours a year, we would potentially be no closer than we were before. I have this pyramid of intimacy and entertainment's on the lowest rung of the ladder, but that's what the majority of couples are doing. So if we're only watching TV together, I promise you that relationship is not growing. It's actually falling apart slowly and you have no idea. Okay, so I thought about this for a second. My wife and I don't even watch TV together because we like different things, Right. Yeah. you know? And so we don't even do that. And so I'm wondering, man, what do we do together? How intimate are you in your relationship? Go out to eat. I mean, you like to eat a lot. Run errands. Take, you but that's know. like with kids and stuff like that. That's just like, okay. you know, I'm talking about like where what do you guys do? Like as a couple, what do we do? We go to Mexico you once take a year. Right? Yeah. Together. Right. There, there's one yeah. week a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah and like every once in a while, there's like a, there's like a weekend getaway. Yeah. Okay. Every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But that's I mean, like, still what? more than a lot of couples are doing. Do you really? ever yeah. sit in the hot tub together? Do you ever... No, hang out me? in the pool together. No, even a lot, a lot of times, like for because like I'll be watching something uh, in one room. She's in a completely different mm. room, like not even in the same room. She's in a completely different room, watching something on her phone or watching something else completely mm. different. We're not even in the same room. Wow. So this got me thinking. I'm like, oh man, that's pretty interesting. Our relationship will last forever. <laughs> There's no room for uh, disagreement. Drama. Like, yeah, That's right, true. exactly. Because you're not even in the room I was together. I was thinking about, like, this guy that I know, he and his wife, they've been married for, like, 30 years, mm-hmm. right? He is out of town for work five days a week. Like, where he gets on a plane, wow. he travels to where he works, and then he flies back home, and he's home, like, Friday afternoon through early Monday morning. Then he catches a flight back. We're oh, talking, like, 2,000 miles. He mm. travels every single week, and they've stayed together. I go, that's got to be the 
and they have a great relationship because the time they're together, they make the most of that. And it's all it's like when you uh, yeah. when you're a child of divorce, you go mm. over to whoever the parent is that you don't spend uh, the whole week with. It's like maybe the visitation parent. And man, they don't want to waste their time being mad at you. Man, they're just spoiling the crap out mm. of you, and you're just having fun and everything else. Like that's you know that, that's that's the kind of the men, the mentality and the mindset of like uh, what they got going on. Like, hey, we only see each other for two and a half mm. days. Yeah, you know, per week, and the rest of the time you're two thousand miles away. I want, hmm. Let's go out to eat, and right. then we'll come home and we'll have sex, <laughs> that's, yeah. and then we'll watch something together, and then we'll yeah. do other things that we think are fun. Okay. Yeah, right. that sounds great. I know that's you, Ravy's dream. Be out of <laughs> town true. all week. That's Ravy's and dream. And then I'll are, see you on the weekend. Are the five days he's gone always at the same place? Yes. Why don't they just live there? Because uh, their kids are in school. They're established. Their oh. whole family, mm-hmm. both of kids. their families, are all there in town. Oh. And so yeah. this is a job where it's 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 only the job, all the opportunity, the wow. money, the whole thing. And the city that he's working in is one of those cities where he goes, and uh, that job. That he's got, if he would have that job where he lives, where mm. his residence, it would pay way less. Oh, mm. so okay. they pay for the flights and all. Sure. So he's got the hassle of the travel and everything else. Ugh. But his marriage will last forever. You know, because he they, probably has a million miles. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. How you're, like you, you ever hear people talk about how like um, we only have a certain number of heartbeats, right? Yes. You know, mm-hmm. and so like you know, he's really just like saving his heartbeats. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In his relationship. Wow. Yeah, because he's gone for five days of it. I'm like, well, what are we really doing during the week? You know? Right. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, just I've ex- thought about that, too. <laughs> during you're on the that, week, you just exist. You're you know? on that yeah. treadmill, man. Yeah. Like, you go That's to work. True. Your kids got mm-hmm. activities. They come home from school. Everybody's got homework. Oh, what are we doing for dinner? Mm-hmm. You make then, dinner. You finish up whatever you got to do. Maybe get a show or two in. Maybe. And uh, everybody's wiped out. And, and you go, go to bed. bed. And repeat. And then that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you what are you really missing out on? That's true. Other than the chance that you can get sick of each other and drive each other nuts and end up in divorce. Brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. I like it. Yeah. That now yeah, I know that what is I, your now I know what I'm asking for <laughs> yeah. for Christmas. My own apartment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've wanted that for Good years. Luck, man. Yeah. Nice, and, <laughs> nice and close to work. Yeah. Our relationship will last forever. But yeah, that that, that kind of like not bummed me out, but it got me thinking like, man, what did Jen and I do?